And welcome everyone to a somewhat rainy, I would say, Christchurch day's flight. We will be going from uh, Christchurch down to Queenstown, so it should make for a pretty interesting landing. Uh, I think it's going to be actually a more interesting landing than uh, I initially thought because it's raining, so I don't know how much we're going to be able to see. Let's do this. Chris, how you going? Welcome, welcome. Appreciate you being here. Uh, but yeah, first things first, before we can get underway, we need to get our plane started. So we'll get ourselves some external power so we know what's up. Christchurch clearance delivery PP321123 IFR to Queenstown ready to copy. PP321123. Oh, APU is on. We'll get the APU master all priming. Our flight plan today, I think, is all filed from Christchurch to Queenstown, runway 5. Queenstown airport is filed. That's good. for the most part. <laughs> nice. When ready to taxi. Cool, cool, cool. Um, but before we can do that, we need to get the baggage loaded. Christchurch ground PP three twenty one one two three. Could you please send the baggage? Uh, how you been? PP oh, Chris, I'm good, thank you. Um, yeah, it's pretty busy. Pretty busy, but you know, all good. Get the catering connected as well. Christchurch ground PP three twenty one one two three. Could you please? Um, now we're having fun with the little one and so on. I've been having a lot of fun in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Trying to teach myself how to do this. Watching some YouTube videos and uh, yeah. So far I think everyone's roughly alive. <laughs> how you doing, mate? Right yeah, we've got catering going, baggage is going to get connected, the uh, jetway is about to be connected, so our passengers can board. If only they knew what they were in for, they would not board. This alarm is because the door is open, so we can switch that off. Uh, for now, what we can do, so APU is available, uh, so we'll switch on APU bleed. Go and uh, we got a fault up here, but that's just because the engines aren't running yet. We can get the fuel pumps going. You're good, awesome man. Fuel pumps are on. Oops, I forgot to switch the batteries on. The batteries, <laughs> yeah, it's really usually the first thing you should switch on, but we did activate external power, so that's why everything was kind of running. Uh, but now batteries are in the mix, so that's good. Just freezing my butt off in this weather. Ah, oh, yeah. But I'm, uh, we're entering summer over here, so it's pretty good. Can't complain. And now if we switch off external power, everything should keep running because the APU is up and going, so that's good. Um, engines are not started yet because, uh... Usually, like, just for safety, you do that after we've backed out. And most of the things are started up now, I reckon. It's like 72 de degrees here. What is that in real money, mate? Not in, not in freedom units. What's that in Celsius? Um, radio baggage has been loaded catering seems like they're done as well um i'm gonna assume that everyone is in that's just gonna be nice i think in the ms 2024 coming out like you can actually see passengers coming in and you can like you'll know when everyone is seated um but yeah that's okay we will say that our people were really efficient and everyone is loaded up uh, so we can tell them uh, MRK, welcome, welcome. Um, so baggage service is done. Right? So all we need to do is disconnect the jetway. Christchurch ground PP three twenty one one two three. Could you please disconnect the jetway from the aircraft? 
and we'll give that check where is disconnected fantastic uh, go back to clearance and we'll get our taxi request going Christchurch ground PP 321123 with Quebec ready to taxi IFR Ah, from other accounts, I see. <laughs> hey, random, how you going? <laughs> we should get our taxiway now. Yep, there we go. We got our taxi. So we're going to go out and we're going to go back a little bit just to the side. So that's for acknowledge taxi. Taxi to and hold short runway two zero using taxi. Twenty two Celsius. Oh, that's all right. Twenty two is toasty, mate. That's lovely. Um, right here, ground services. We will request pushback. Christchurch ground PP three twenty one one two three requesting pushback. It's going to be a really interesting landing in Christchurch if it's this foggy. <laughs> Oop, parking brake. Uh, Good luck pushing us if I left the brake on, eh? Are you playing that? What do you mean, mate? I'm used to the 100 degree weather, not this. Yeah, like that's the thing with weather, right? Like it's whatever you're used to, really, is, um, yeah, yeah. If you're used to colder weather, then like 22 is fine. Like for me, 22 here is actually just awesome weather. Um, so we're going to go, I believe, left, if I'm Christchurch ground PP doing my math right. One, two, three, requesting pushback tug to steer the aircraft to the left. Yep, all right. <laughs> The reverse left and right, sir. And then we will... Oh, we might have gone a little bit early on that. We'll just go straight. Hey, you ran him with the daily. And... Alright, we're going to clear that, so we're good. We'll just get him to push us a little bit further. We might have turned just a smidgen too early. Um, but, yeah, it's alright. Wings are going to clear everything. We're all good. You guys just don't go anywhere in a minute, all right? And yep, pretty easy taxi for us as well. We're just going to go out here and to the right, and we're good. And we're taking off towards uh, the south. That's probably far enough, so we can tell it to request pushback to stop. Christchurch ground PP three twenty one one two three requesting the end of pushback. PP three twenty one one two three request to end pushback received. There we go. So from here, what we'll do now is we will start the engine. So we'll put them into a condition mode, and we can flick on the engines, and we'll just have to wait and watch them start up. See the numbers starting to tick up there as they warm up. I'm gonna set our initial climb as well a little bit higher just so we can get out of here. Let's say 10. Uh, we'll figure out because we're gonna climb. Yeah, so it's a thousand nine, and then it's pretty much up to two, and then uh, 16. Right, yeah, the engines are good. So at this point, what we can do is we can actually uh, switch off the APU and switch off the APU blade. We're now fully running on the engines, so that's sweet. And we are good to taxi. All right, well, uh, we I believe we're good to taxi, and we just need to contact them when we are back at when we're actually at the runway spot. So. Uh, brakes are off. Fantastic. Uh, let's go for our external view. 
so we can see all this beauty. Speed up and try to turn onto taxiway. I don't know absolutely anything about this. Yeah, oh well, random, I'm still learning as well, eh? Um, but we've done a few flights now, and I feel like I'm starting to get the hang of it. Today's going to be really interesting, because... Uh, um, so it's technically dark here now, actually, but I do have live weather on, so it is raining currently in Christchurch, where we are flying from. Um, so that's why we've got the shitty weather. Um, but it would be nighttime as well if we were all real. But... Uh, it being nighttime, we just make for a shitty stream because uh, no one can see anything. Yeah, you wait for us, little guy. Uh, what is this plane? It is a A320. So 40 degrees Celsius is what it is outside usually because, ah, oh, right. Holy shit, that's really hot, man. That is insane. Audio, let's carry on there. Oh, why? Getting distracted. Keep us on the line. <laughs> that's what I'm used to. Yeah. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty intense temperature to be used to though, mate. <laughs> I feel like that's the kind of that's that's siesta where they're in the middle of the day there. For sure. I'm actually a little bit nervous about our approach into Christ into uh, Queenstown. We'll see what. Uh, hopefully, the weather clears. But yeah, don't know what it is like there. <coughs> but we'll figure it out. All right. So what we'll do is we'll get to the edge of the runway. We'll stop and we'll ask uh, for clearance on takeoff. Slow down a little bit here. I'm in the toilet pooping. <laughs> As most of my demographic right there, mate. Right, yeah, we'll just hold up here in contact tower. Christchurch Tower PP 321123 at runway 20 ready for departure IFR to Queenstown. PP 321123 altimeter 29 or decimal 9 or 1 wind 186. Right. We are cleared, so it means like there's no one else incoming. I have had it before where they say, um, uh, where they just say hold, because um, there might be like another airplane uh, coming in for landing or something. Yeah, that's all good. Let's get ourselves on this runway. I've gone a little bit wide. I think I was aiming for the wrong line there for a second. Uh, that's okay. Righty out. That is us. Up for alignment. Fantastic. Um, we'll chuck the flaps. Should have actually done that already. Um, we'll go flaps. I'm not actually sure. Go flaps three. I'm not sure how long this runway is. It's an international airport, so it should be all good. Um, Righty out. Captain crew, um, by now you've all uh, seatbelt signs are on. We should have really done that already. Um, landing lights, uh, runway lights, uh, strobe should be on, beacon should be on, and wing light should be on, and nav light should be on. Fantastic. All right. Chuck, put the ciggies down and put the drinks down, team. Let's get in the air. Mm. 
full power taking off towards the uh, towards the south. Uh, 140 knots. Uh, 160, gentle back on the stick. Gets us in the air. And that's us up. Gear up. Positive climb. And we can bring this back to climb. Uh, flaps up one. There we go. That's us nice and easy. Gear is up. New Zealand Center PP three twenty one one two three is at nine hundred feet, climbing six thousand feet. Six thousand. So at this point, what we'll do is uh, flap. Just going to actually come up all the way. Check on the auto. Your dog just ran away. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> and I hope we get above these clouds. We have got no visibility, eh? It's gonna be a very interesting landing. Oh yeah, yo. Maintain sixteen thousand. Fantastic. So we can go up to climb and maintain sixteen thousand feet. PP three twenty one one two three. Ah, oh, the door is opening right away. I got you. Oh, we're getting above the clouds. Nice. Yeah, it is terrible weather in Christchurch, eh? Look at this shit. It looks really cool, but man, the the actual Alps is much. Ah, oh, look, it looks like we're gonna. It's, the clouds are only here. It's only raining here. See, it's clear in front. Hell yeah! All right, crisis averted. It's not gonna be like this the whole way. <laughs> we're actually gonna see a beautiful, uh, hopefully a beautiful Queenstown on our way in. And yeah, that's most of the technical things out the way for now. It's going to get a little bit more uh, busy than usual on our landing because there is no ILS landing available, which is uh, uh, yeah, instrument assisted. So we're going to have to do things a little bit more manual. Um, but I have done it once before and managed to do it with some success. So hopefully we'll be good. Just look at that plane though. Love that we got the New Zealand branding going. It's good. Can you play Fortnite sometimes? I wouldn't know how. I wouldn't know how random. <laughs> <laughs> Climbing past 13,000, and uh, we're currently aiming for 16, but I think our cruise should be somewhere in the 30s, but we'll see what happens. PP climb and maintain 17, feet. 17, so they want us to go up 1,000 more, not a worry. Climb and maintain 17,000 feet, PP three. You can see now 17 is set where we're climbing to, over here. Hey guys. And we're in nav and we're in climb. Going to one two zero decimal niner PP three twenty one one two three. There we go. Yeah, it's really just in Christchurch all this rain. Or probably not Christchurch. Let's say like center of the South Island, because that's kind of where Christchurch is. That's center. Of I mean, it's on the coast, but I mean, it's it's in the lengthwise. The island, it's kind of in the middle, but it looks like the oh shit, I actually put a cloud here as well. I might have spoken too soon. 
<laughs> Might have spoken to the same thing. Definitely looks a little bit less scary down this way, though. Right, yeah, just about at 17,000. And what we can do now is tell everyone that the uh, seatbelt signs are off and the smoking signs are off. So get your whiskey, light them up, and have a good time. And I'll see you in Queenstown. <laughs> just like you walk in other games <laughs> left click to shoot right click to aim yeah but it's the whole building mechanic and everything that goes around that funny thing about fortnite eh? like it was meant to be a completely different game like it started off not free like paid and the idea was it's fortnite so you build a fort and then like it's much like seven days and um, there would be these hordes that kind of attack you um, and then uh, you would keep building and you'd play with your friends and that was kind of the game loop and that completely flopped because I guess they didn't sell and it was a shit and then the whole thing got repurposed because Battle Royale was really hot with PUBG you know it was pretty much the only thing around at the time um, so they repurposed it uh, into a Battle Royale game and it got massively popular um, so yeah it's quite interesting Mark, how you going? Welcome back. Appreciate you being here. It's going well, mate. Uh, we just took off from Christchurch. Christchurch. Uh, we're flying from Christchurch to Queenstown. Um, so no ILS landing today, mate. Uh, it's going to be a little bit more manual and interesting. Um, it was really rainy in Christchurch. You can see those clouds are pretty thick. Um, so it's actually nighttime in New Zealand at the moment, but I have live weather on and just tuned it to daytime so that we can uh, at least see uh, for the purposes of streaming. But live weather so it is actually raining down there at the minute um but hopefully we have a little bit more clearer skies down south on our way to uh uh queenstown save the world is what they call it now are you, are you talking about like the the, the fortnight change thing Oh, there is a zero build mode as well. Oh, okay, I see. Right out. How are you going, Mark, by the way? And uh, welcome back. Um, I've tried one landing into Queenstown, and it went fairly good. Um, well, no, I kind of lie. The first one went terrible, and the second one, after I've had a bit of exper practice with the... Uh, I wouldn't say experience. Practice with the uh, uh, 320. Um, went really, really well. Um, so we'll see how this one goes. It'll be an hour now that approach, by the way. But are you going to play it? Probably not, random, if I'm being honest. Probably not, my man. I do like uh, playing shooter games, but I'm really not one for the quick, clicky, clicky ones. And I prefer the more slower paced ones. <laughs> I just woke up and playing Seven Days to Die. Nice. How is that? Because eh? it, it came out on the uh, uh, the 1.0 release was not too long ago. I... Me and my friends were going to play it, because it actually wasn't that expensive, um, you know, when it was in beta and whatnot, but I never bought it. And then the 1.0 came out, and it was like, I don't know, New Zealand dollars, like 60-something. I was like, oh, that's a bit much for a, for an indie game. Um, so I think I'll wait till it's on special, and then uh, we might pick it up. Bit of fun. So you can see in the distance there, so we took off from Christchurch, which is on the coast, um, and then sort of on the western side... Um, roughly of the South Island is where the Southern Alps lie and that's what we can sort of see in the distance there. So you got the Canterbury Flats which is what we're looking at underneath here um, and that leads to the Southern Alps um, sort of see in the distance there. And then as we go closer to Queenstown we're going to be a little bit more to the west um, and we'll actually see larger mountains as we go along. If you're not good at the game, we'll get you lobbies uh, with other good, not good players. Yeah, so I, uh, yeah, um, I heard that Fortnite does do the skill matching thing because they have enough players, right? Just so pretty. kind of cool with all the clouds and so on because to be honest like New Zealand has generally got clouds that's why 
like Atiro, I mean land of the long white cloud because <laughs> you pretty much always have like the line of clouds on the on the Alps it's quite rare um, I mean blue sky days do happen um, but uh, they are the exception and not the norm I'd say uh, depending on the time of year of course um, uh, sort of winter time you get more blue sky days because you know less condensation and evaporation and stuff um, but yeah definitely definitely a lot of clouds You can play everything there? Yeah, I, I get it, random. I just don't think Fortnite's for me, man. Um. Alright, this is the radio change. I just gotta, like, keep listening if they tell us to, um, change altitude or something. But yeah, we're just changing towers. Um, so, show you guys around a little bit. So, we're actually just on 10 miles now, which is not very useful over here. So, we'll chuck this on 40. Oh, geez, it's a long. So go all the way to 150 to see more on our approach, but it's pretty much a straight line. And then, right at the end, there's a little dog leg. And that's where things get interesting because uh, you kind of come down and then you have to go around a mountain so that you can kind of get into a valley. And that valley aligns you with um, the Queenstown runway. Um, and that's that sort of straight and then you'll see we go a little bit left and then in uh, but it'll become clearer once we're closer we're just a bit far away so the zooms yeah especially like 180 miles so um our next waypoint i was trying to say these big mu big mu i know you can say yeah uh bravo echo golf uh what's that mike i forget what you is but i like saying him as words so yeah big mu <laughs> el Ruv. Do you have homework? Oh, good. Thanks for stopping by, Random. Have yourself an awesome day. Right here, we're at 17,000. I'm guessing that's our cruise altitude because they haven't given us a different instruction. It might change over here after we hit that waypoint, uh, but we'll see. You wish you had time to watch. Bye. Ah, all good, man. If you ever want to see uh, more of it, it'll all be on YouTube and the, the videos are there also if you want to catch up. Um, but yeah, I always appreciate you stopping by, mate. Did I switch the APU off? I did. Did we tell people they can drink? Yeah, seatbelt is off and light uh, smoking is off. Cool. Siggy's are floating and then the whiskey's flowing. definitely getting a little bit clearer now so that's good let's look at that mess back there Woo! right oh actually yeah we're far enough away now that we don't see you can sort of see the thick clouds over there and you can see the size of the mountains are getting bigger on the side here so these foothills here on the start are not that big but in the distance there if we zoom in a wee bit and see the snowy capped ones they're almost the same height as us at this minute look at those they're definitely at about 16. <laughs> Uh, it's good, like, open world survival and have to fight horde every seven days. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they go from easy to hard. So the longer you stay, the harder they get, hey? Uh, so you build a horde base and upgrade it as you get better supplies and weapons. Yeah. Nice. Is there enough, like, um, uh, I'm guessing the day-night cycles must be the same length because I was wondering if it gets harder. But I guess you need more supplies and things because you need a stronger fort, so... As time goes on, it starts to feel like you have less time to prepare for the next one. Uh, wait, is it daytime over there? It is not, Chris. So it is 100% nighttime. Um, but I flicked, uh, I changed the time of day for the purposes of the stream so that we can all just actually see. Um, but I do have live weather on. So the time of day is different, but it is live weather. So the fact that it was raining, it was actually raining in Christchurch. Um, but yeah, it is daytime because otherwise. Um, we would all just be looking at darkness and uh <laughs> i mean i can try and be entertaining with the talking but uh <laughs> if we also have nothing to to look at then it gets a bit harsh you know <laughs> um, and this way i can kind of point things out a little bit as we go um things that i recognize anyway although right now i don't really have anything 
nothing too crazy to point out. Man, just look at those mountains in the distance. It's just such a cool place. And most of this, like the amazing part is, so it was all the Southern Alps ranges you see here. Um, most of that is uh, public conservation land, so anyone has access to go. It's just a big playground, really. Um, lots of hiking, uh, lots of hunting, uh, lots of trout fishing. Um, it's just, man, if you like the outdoors, it's just heaven on earth, really. You make it, you can make them longer or shorter in the settings. Right, right. So you're not run out and make it easier. I see. Okay, so if you want like an easy version of seven days, you just give yourself a lot of daytime to re to prepare. Eh? Right, I see. I tried playing MFS and I actually got off the ground for a few seconds. Yeah, you know what? I uh, if you go to the 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 training things that they have, it's really good. Um, yeah, like you start off with the smaller planes and the way they teach you, like, I mean, it's all pretty basics. Um, but you get the fundamentals down and then they don't have a lot of training for the big air buses uh, for, the, for these things um, but they do have a little bit just to get you going and but, but by that point you've kind of done enough that when you watch youtube videos that tell you how to do it they kind of make sense because you've got like a little bit of a baseline and they also like the fidelity on the aircraft are different so this is the base a320 in microsoft flight simulator so there's not like a crazy amount of detail in the cockpit like um, I think the MCDU is actually easier to operate here as well. Um, if you use things like the Phoenix um, uh, A320, uh, it gets harder um, just because there's more things to manage and the MCDU and stuff is a little bit different. Um, but I'm kind of talking out of my ass there because to be honest, I haven't uh, tried it. Um, I'm kind of just waiting for uh, 2024 to come out and then we'll see what aircraft are available and which ones are compatible and all that good stuff. Right, we're making good progress, so we're, we're kind of entering big mountain territory now. Get in there. But yeah, Chris, it's fun, man. Like, I'm actually having more fun than I thought I would. And, uh... I really didn't think that I'd have fun playing, like, the commercial flights, but so far that's actually been the most fun. <laughs> um, just because there's things to manage with, like, radio and so on, and, um... You know, like the the Queenstown one that we're gonna fly into now, like chances of having a botched approach is quite high. Like we could mess it up, in which case then we need to like abort our approach, and then you you know have to organize another pattern to go like do a go around, and um, there's stuff to manage in that. And yeah, I don't know all that all that shit. I, I kind of like it. All right, we are getting proper mountain territory now. Coast is way way over there. Um, you kind of see more mountains in the distance. You see some lakes as well. Very cool. Um, so we've probably left Canterbury by now, which is where Christchurch is. And we're on our way to Otago, which is the region where uh, Queenstown finds itself. Still 17,000 feet. They haven't told us to change, so I guess that's uh, that's where we're sitting because we just passed that. Oh, wait, we haven't quite passed that point. Like, if they're gonna, like, our descent will start at that L, L rov. Um, so if they're gonna tell us to change, are they actually gonna tell us to go down? I think, judging by that arrow right on the, you can see that down arrow pointing um, right on big that point we're about to hit. So I think they're gonna tell us to descend. I walked 14 laps around the neighborhood during daytime. Holy moly. Is that just like uh, for a bit of exercise, mate? I mean, I do a bit of running, so I get I get the distance thing, but man, laps, laps are hard. Like I find it hard to do. Like I don't, I don't even like out and back really when running, uh, but laps will just be a true test of uh, 
the mental games at the same time. But I guess a good podcast and stuff might do the trick. Let's kind of zone out. Um, so we also we we are flying into the wind. Um, only three and a half miles, but all up or per lap. Oh no, wait, we have, we're not quite going down here. The down is a bit further away. See there? Little down arrow. So you can now see that dog leg a little bit easier on the map. So as we go in straight in and we'll turn around and that there's a mountain over here and we'll go around that and then like through the valley. Ah, in total? Ah, okay, yeah, it's not bad. I don't know, like, because right now, okay, basically, what I want to do is wherever in the world we are is where we are. Like, I want to do like a. I mean, we can we we can spawn at random airports and fly like different ones, but we'll say that this Air New Zealand A320, like right now, it'll be in Christchurch. So if we want to fly in Australia, then we're gonna have to fly to Australia, right? Um, but that's gonna be interesting because uh, from here, that's about three and a half hour flight. And, uh, I don't know how we're going to do that, eh? Like, <laughs> we're going to have to collectively put on a Netflix movie or something to, uh, to get us across. Um, because it's, uh, it's across the Tasman, uh, Strait, so it's just water for, like, three hours, pretty much. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know how we're going to do it. I mean, I'm open, I'm open to suggestions. Of course, you can always fast forward, like, you can just load yourself, um, closer in your flight path. Um, so that's an option, but it does feel a little bit like cheating, though. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. But you could, like, you know, take off and fly away from New Zealand and then just load once Australia is almost in sight. Uh, load, load in and then and continue the flight. How gorgeous, man. Oh. Um, we are, right, we're nearing our descent point, sort of just in front of us now, so I'm thinking we're going to get a radio call out pretty soon, telling us to start our descent. Um, and then as we get closer, so now, so now you can actually see our final as well, so there's Queenstown Airport. Um, once we get about here, um, we're going to start our uh, slowing ourselves down and so on and uh, make sure that we get down in altitude. Um, so it's 15, 10, 11. Oh, wow, it's actually, why is that so high? It's probably because of the mountains. So the next call should be down to... Why didn't it tell us to go to 11600? Interesting. Oh, it's at Alrov. Okay, my, my mistake. That's why we're still at 1700, so there we go. So it's going to go 11600 at Alrov. Are we going to get a call out? We should get now. Otherwise, when we get to Alrav, I'm going down to 11,000. If they don't say anything. I thought that arrow meant descending, but yeah. Could be wrong, could be wrong. Oh, the other thing we can do now, actually, can we flick this a little bit closer? Uh, let me just leave it out a little bit longer.
Uh, come on, tower, we want to descend. But no, we're still on uh, instrument fly, so they should, yeah. Maybe I just don't. As I said, lots to learn still, so I could just be, I could just have the wrong end of the stick. Uh, but defi definitely at LRAV, they should. We should be starting to descend because uh, that airport is not overly far away. Cooler, but these farms, man. Growing up on one of these farms must be freaking amazing. It's got all these mountains to play in. Now it's starting to give us the Descend down. Descend and maintain 15,000 feet PP3 21123. There we go. Starting to get a little bit worried there. Yeah, we need to go down quite a bit, and um, when I tried this once before, it seemed like the... I mean, that's probably just me doing stuff wrong, but it seemed like we went nearly low enough as we got closer. Um, so we'll keep an eye this time, and uh, we definitely want to be quite low by the time we get about here somewhere. Because then you just get around that bend, um, that's basically like around a mountain over here into a valley, and then you're... you're you should be flying at like 3,000 around here. Um, so, uh, next waypoint, Pav has us at 15. And that's where they have us. Cool. Yep. So the next waypoint will be 10 at Alvox. Yeah, I feel like I want to be lower already. There we go, now we're going out to 10. Descend and maintain one zero thousand feet PP three twenty one one two three. Come on, hurry up. All right, now the descend rate's getting there. We'll get pretty close to these hills and um, as we get into Queenstown, like that last little dog leg, um, we're actually going to be like right next to mountains and stuff, like you start to get below the hill height. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Ah, uh, so that's probably why they have you quite high, because those mountains are a little bit high back there, and then you get into a lower area here, and that's why it was taking a while to get us down to 10. I see, I see, I see. Uh, do you know the ETA? You know what, Chris? I'm supposed to be able to tell you that. Um... But I don't know how to check that. Um, from Christchurch, though, to Queenstown is uh, under an hour. Um, so it's really not far away. Like, this whole thing here um, should be over in sort of the next 20 minutes. Um, and that's just if I don't muck it up. Um, if, I, if I 
mess up the approach and we have to do a go around then you know there's the there's, there's the time to do that uh that circuit uh, but this is all going to go pretty quick now Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is just bring up my VFR map on the side, um, just so I can see a little bit better. Um, all it is is a blown up version of the thing down here. Um, We should be able to zoom this in, I think, another level now. Uh, maybe not quite. So, yeah, it's 30 miles to the airport now from our position, roughly. As the as the crow flies, but we've got a little bit of a bend. Do. And hopefully they let us get rid of some more altitude zone. And fingers crossed we stick that landing the first time. So over there is Wanaka, so you got Wanaka over there, and then Queenstown's on the other side of the mountains over there. And Wanaka's an awesome spot, it's right, right next to a lake as well. But same as Queenstown's next to a lake as well. Um, but yeah, just a cool, cool little town, man. Nestled on the end of the foothills, you can see there, that's uh, uh, Mount Roy, or Rob Roy, something like that. That little nudge right there. Very famous place, uh, day walk, and you know, people go out for, for some photos and stuff. Um, if you if you Google Wanaka like mountain picture, uh, at kill okay. Clear to at kill. Right, that's when our approach starts. Cool. Maintain present heading and altitude. Expect Arnav Golf approach via at kill transition circle to land runway two tree. Clear to at kill PP three twenty one one two tree. Yeah, it's a classic picture there where people take like photos from behind them. So you'll see a person stand and then the camera angle is like a wee behind with the massive lakes and things like in front of them. Um, yeah, very, very popular. And then there's also a tree in the lake that's also for some reason a very popular photo to take. All right, so at kill will also be the point that we come back to if we were to miss our approach. Um, PP three twenty one one two three, climb and maintain eleven thousand feet. Keep speed not above two one zero knots. Yeah, let's go to eleven thousand feet now. Yeah, it said PP because I changed it to that, so it's pickled pancake. Speed not above two one zero knots. PP three twenty one one two three. But. It has the added bonus of being funny, because it's BB. <laughs> um, right here. So we're at 11 now. Um, and then we're going to do some pretty quick drops. And I feel like I want to drop sooner. So they might shout at us. But I just don't see how you go from 11 to 7 to landing that damn quick. Sup, Hazzy? How you going? Welcome, mate. We're just descending into Queenstown now, so uh, if you wanted to see some pretty horrific flying in time. Said something about a tree? Yeah, so... Oh, it's just contact. 
yeah there's a in, in wanaka there's a there's a tree in the lake um and if you google like One tree wanaka um, it's also a popular photo Goodbye. people take radio approach PP Getting the people safely. No one's died yet, has he? But, you know, there's always a first time. It's always a first time, right? I don't, I don't like being at 11,000 where we're at now. We're way too high. Uh, Can't really request a different height. Oh shit, wrong button. I just feel like we are really quite high at the minute. And uh, you want to be quite a bit lower. So I'm going to go lower and see if they shout at me. I'm just going to dial in now to 5. So now we're at 7,000, so expedite that. Descend and maintain 7,700 feet, PP 321123. Right, get down there. Keyword, bro. Yet, yeah, I know, man. <laughs> it's always the first time, right? And this is a this is not an easy landing that we're going in now, so there's a good chance that I'll muck it up and we have to go around again. But hopefully not. Um, so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna chuck out some flaps. We're gonna slow ourselves down. We'll start the slow down process. I just feel like we're still way too high, eh? Sorry for going quiet. I'm just trying to figure out how to do this, like somewhat slick. But uh, yeah. Oh, true. We should probably put the seatbelt sign on and put the cigarettes out, guys. <laughs> Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> So our flaps currently is on three. Get away with that message. We're good. We are have to take off. Dumb simulator. Saying retracting landing gear, we're going in for a landing on that. Uh, 
Um, yeah, so we can see the runway now. It's just over there. Um, we're still like a little bit higher than I would like us to be. Um, but uh, all in all, there's a chance that this might be success. So this is what I mean, you sort of come around this mountain, and then there's a mountain on the left here, and you kind of have to work your way around. Um, so we're probably going to go full, uh, full manual now. We'll take over. And, uh, yeah, let's see how we go. Crew, hold on to your butts. Uh, oh man, I'm gonna need to put these messages off. Eh? It's really annoying. PP three twenty one one two three wind one seven five at niner. Clear to land runway two three. All right, this is all feeling pretty good actually. Dad duties. Oh hell yeah, love it, Hezzy. <laughs> All good, mate. PP three twenty one one two three. Did you copy? Oh shit! Yeah, we gotta, gotta tell them. Acknowledge landing clearance. Clear to land runway two three. PP three twenty one one two three. It's like I'm busy here. <laughs> one Alrighty. Beautiful though, eh? Got Lake Queenstown over there. Um, this lake, because of its shape, believe it or not, it actually has a tide. And about every 30 minutes, it switches on about, I think it's like 5 centimeters or something. Or 3 centimeters or something like that. You'll have to Google it, but some small amount that goes up and down each side. In like a 30 minute space. And Maori legend has it, there's like a sea monster, like a lake monster, and it's his heartbeat. I'm probably butchering the story, but it's something like that. A little bit early on the uh, on the landing there, but we're all good. <laughs> Probably touched down this smidgen too soon on the runway, but I think that's all good. Didn't know it was you heard about it, but the know it was there. Yeah, totally a thing, man. Pretty wild. Um, there we go. I think yeah, it's on this side. Exit runway when able. There we go. And we have our taxiway. Woo! Hell yeah, team. Alright, flaps can go back up. Okay, breathe. That had me a little bit stressed out, I'm not going to lie. But uh, I think that all went pretty good. I th the only thing there is I'd say that we probably touched down a little bit too soon. You want those wheels to hit um, a, 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 a wee bit later. Um, but it all still felt safe. Didn't feel like we needed a, a, a go around or anything. Um, so yeah. 
all in all pretty good let's get ourselves here and then uh, we'll get these passengers offloaded I don't know, Minecraft in real life had so many urban myths and legends. <laughs> That's wild, man. So these mountains on the side here is called the Remarkables. Yes, because they are quite remarkable. And it's like one of the key features of Queenstown. Really pretty in winter when they're all like covered with snow. concentrate and get this thing parked up so there's gonna be a dude with some ice cream cones over here showing us what we're to do they look remarkable yeah you should google some pictures of the remarkables like through the seasons um oh it's just gorgeous man queenstown is definitely uh like tourist capital like it's um uh yeah, it's pretty insane all the stuff you can do here and, and what it looks like very popular with skiing um, I like uh, Coronet Peak. But yeah, he's given us this straight ahead. And then I'm going to stop, buddy, because I can't see you anymore. We can actually go a little bit forward. I don't know how they do this in real life, though. You know what I mean? Because now I can go to an external cam because that's him bringing the cones together to get us to stop and that's that stopping point there we go brakes on um, and we can go back uh, I'm just gonna close this up for a sec because I just need to remember to chuck on the APU and we can get the engine stopped and the Laps are up. Oh, I forgot to put the speed brakes on. Oh, oh, slap on the wrist there, team. Totally forgot to uh, chuck on the brakes. Or the automatic brakes and stuff. But we still did everything just fine. Um, right, APU is available. Chuck on the bleed. Fantastic. And that means we can actually now uh, switch off the two engines. And we'll get our log, actually, apparently. <laughs> I thought I was going to connect the gangway and get the passengers off, but once you switch the engines off, it ends the flight because uh, we've parked up. 